Souls-like games are riddled with locked doors and hidden passageways and Lords of the Fallen is no different. Quite often you'll come to a door that won't budge or one that requires a specific key to pass through. Luckily, the game lets you know when you need a specific key to open said door, though you might have a hard time finding said key. Don't fret, Prima Games has your back. Shortly after the Scourge Sister Della's sub boss fight, you'll come to an area called Pilgrim's Perch. Here, there's a handful of locked doors that require the Pilgrim's Perch key to open. Or maybe you already bought the key and are wondering where said doors are. We opened them all and found both horrors and treasure. The Pilgrim's Perch key is perhaps the easiest to find. Simply speak with Stomond in Skyrest Bridge to buy it for 9,500 vigor. Yes, that's quite the steep price, and if you're still early on in the game, we recommend not bothering with it right now. But if you did purchase it, all three doors to use it on are located within Pilgrim's Perch. Foremost, just after kicking the first Pilgrim off the perch when you enter the area, climb the ladder to your right and enter a little cave. There will be a door here with a chest inside. Within it, you'll find the heavy sacred resonance set. For those of you that have always wanted to wear a bell as a helmet, you're in luck. That's the easiest Pilgrim's Perch door to unlock. Behind the other two reside enemies likely far too powerful for you to take on. But if you're like us and aren't afraid of a little running around, you can quickly loot the items within before rushing out, or die trying anyway. The second door you'll find behind Byron at the Pilgrim's Perch Bellroom Vestige. This is quite the high level area where the enemies may look familiar but hit harder and have way more health. We came back way later and still had trouble. So we ran on through to find a sub-boss called the Sacred Resonance of Tenacity and up a set of stairs near him, the Adir's Hardiness Inferno spell. Heading away from Mr. Tenacity, a set of stairs leads outside to an area filled with ultra-powerful enemies. You can find a Hungering Knot Catalyst and the Umbral Eye of Loche. This path also leads back to Skyrest Bridge. The final Pilgrim's Perch door is where you first meet and rescue Gerlin, the blacksmith, located at the very end of the Pilgrim's Perch area. Damn sentinels! In the back of the room you find Gerlin in, a locked door with a horde of enemies awaits. Outside, if you're brave enough, you can find a Warrior's Claw amulet. That's all you need to know to find and use this key in Lords of the Fallen. There's a lot more secrets to uncover throughout the labyrinthian world of Mornstead, so if you want to make sure you didn't miss any other hidden areas or items, stay tuned to Prima Games.